Travel is really important at uh, Paradise, both domestic and international. You know, apart from helping us understand the companies we invest in, the companies we're looking in, it really opens up our thinking and in, you know, encourages us to think a little bit outside the box, contemplate what's likely to happen, what might not happen. And uh, you know, one place that we like to go to on a regular basis is China. Um, our mid-cap team, there's three of us, Matt James and myself, we each try and get there once a year. And it's such a dynamic environment that it's always evolving. And I think we'd be foolish to say we're ever experts on China. It certainly helps us gain an understanding of directionally where they're headed and why they're headed in that direction. It was really interesting this recent trip. Uh, I was across there mid-March. And China recently has moved from being more uh, focused on GDP growth, it's still important, uh, more focused on sustainability. And through that focus on sustainability, um, there's been a strong focus on the environment. That's obviously got a big impact on its uh, population. And secondly, on deleveraging. So deleveraging was a very big topic. Every second meeting, deleveraging came up. And how that all feeds through uh, into being relevant for us as investors based here in Australia, um, what we've actually seen is quite a few curbs put in place. Um, curbs you know, in steel production, curbs in coal production, and obviously these have had a very positive impact on the environmental issues that have been raised. And secondly, on the deleveraging side, um, many of these companies, these heavy industrial companies, actually owned by state-owned enterprises, SOEs. And you know, these are the guys that actually have quite a bit of debt. And so with these curbs, lower production, improved margins, improved cash flow, and this actually helps the deleveraging process. So they don't have to rely purely on, for example, you know, debt for equity swaps, it's an alternative means. So that was fascinating. We haven't really seen this over the years previously been such a focal point, it's been spoken about, um, but we've actually seen it come through and translate into numbers in companies that we invest in, be it Blue Scope Steel for their steel spreads, uh, Whitehaven Coal, you know, with regard to coal pricing, iron ore pricing, you know, the impact's been substantial. One of the, uh, one of the big discussion points, um, well, sometimes the discussion didn't run too deep. It was, you know, with regard to President Xi, being president for life. That's a very, you know, new concept. Um, just interested to hear what the views were. Um, generally very positive in the short to medium term. And the reason for that is that it would enable some of these initiatives to be maintained and to make sure that there's no deviation from some of these initiatives that have actually been uh, embarked upon.